Valencia Sunday Market. It has clothes, it has food, and uh, it was a little tiny thing when we first got here back in, uh, I guess it was February maybe of 2020, right before the pandemic started. We were locked down here for about maybe five months, six months, whatever. And we come back now, pandemic's over, and it's just crazy big. They have food here. We're looking for breakfast now. They even have plants for sale here. The church is on the other side of the park. That's the sermon of the day you're hearing. Look at this place. Wow, amazing. It's easily 10x. Uh, the other Sunday markets we've been to around the Philippines. Man, this, depending on prices, this is probably the place you want to go for selection and pricing. I mean, uh, quality and selection to get your groceries every, every week. And this is the restaurant or snack area, I guess. It's all food now, suddenly, on one side of the park. There's Lechon, which one really likes pig. Oh, look at that bread. Great, great bakery. Sandwich, yeah. Pesto, chavata. Oh, nice. Oh, pesto bagel, look at that. Oh, look at all these different kinds of foods here. Amazing. They even have banh mi over there. It's like a Vietnamese sandwich. Homemade German bread. Oh wow, Homemade. German bread. Oh nice. Homemade. Very cool. How's your pulled pork sandwich? Very good. Yeah. Good bread. Looks like it has cheese and ketchup and uh, mayonnaise, maybe. Wow, that's mostly just pork, huh? A couple pickles. You should put hair on your chest. In case you're wondering, the see that green gazebo over there? That, the tall one, it's it's across the little round area over there. It says smoked pulled pork, a big white sign. Here we are, people, on a Sunday, enjoying our... We're up on the steps here, the view, enjoying the... Watching the Filipino people go about life. Calling this a Spanish omelet. It's a potato, egg, and onion, and some garlic. We'll see. It's 
nice. In uh, in the U.S., where I'm from, the Spanish omelet is like a, it's a regular omelet with you know tomato sauce with like bell peppers and onion and garlic and and uh, chili peppers and spicy and this is something completely different. So I asked the lady that sells this and she's like, nope, this is the Spanish omelet, which makes sense. <laughs> I see that all the time in California, in the U.S., where people bring their food. She is from Spain. Yeah. <laughs> she knew. Yeah. Maybe I'll buy plain so that I'll have one plain so that it's open. It's good? It's legit. Wow. Let me try. Mmm, it's really good. It's hard to do in humidity. It's it's hum more humid here than in France. Yeah, but they've done a pretty good job. Wow. So I got myself this. I don't know why it's that, but it looks very nice. It's French. I can hear the accent. Mmm, it's nice. It's very good. I just feel plain croissant. Yummy. <laughs> Wow, the whole thing has chocolate inside. Yeah, Oreo. I thought it was just on the top. It's, it's nice. Good. I like it. Yeah. It's not too sweet, even though it looks really sweet. The flavor is more chocolate than it is. I went back and get three more croissants. Ha ha. Ha ha. Soy? Yeah, 150 is uh, cooked oh, by this. Cook Northern Thai. Yeah. And she doesn't have a restaurant, she just is here on Sundays, right? She, she, she cooks in the house, you can order, and then uh, they deliver it or they send by grab or something. Oh, cool. Well, let's see. Oh. It's different than the cow soy that we eat in Thailand. It's close to the taste. It's, the taste is almost the same. It's, you can have a taste of Thai food, but it's different than what we eat in Thailand, the cow soy. The pad thai over there, we'll have to try that too sometime. some Bhutan. I like to remove the skin so it's easier when I want to eat. In that you know, every time I have to take. Long Bhutan is very small. Long Bhutan is 70 peso per kilo and this long one is 150 peso per kilo. What's the, this one called what? Uh, Long gun. I can't remember the name, sorry. And this is Ramblin? Rambutan. Rambutan. Yeah, Rambutan. Orangutan? Rambutan. Sounds like a ring Yeah, sounds like Orangutan. The skin color is same like that. <laughs> this 150 peso. And then I see in the Valencia, they're selling 250 peso. We bought it on the roadside. Oh, the roadside was 150. Yeah. And the Valencia market was 250? 250. 250. And how about the... Rambutan is about 80 pesos. This one's 80? Yeah, but I bought 70 pesos. At the roadside. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey, good looking. If you are curious about our cozy accommodation in Dumaguete, just click on the video above. We are excited to show you where we're staying. Thanks a lot for watching and we can't wait to catch you in our next video. See you soon. Bye.